are here with Bella TV, and I am standing with the co-founders of the Curvy Con, Cece and Chastity. Ladies, thank you so much for having us today. The show is absolutely amazing. Thank you for coming. Of course, of course. Start off by telling us a little bit about the Curvy Con and why it started. Chessie and I are both influencers in the plus size space. We talk about fashion, lifestyle, everything in between. And we just noticed that there was a need for plus size women to be celebrated in a different way. And the Curvy Con was our answer to that. Women fly in from around the world for this three-day convention. We have panels, we have pop-up shops, we have runway shows, and some cocktail parties in between. <laughs> Um, we also started it as influencers. We get a, a elevated experience, a lot of experience that the plus size woman doesn't get. She might be in the Midwest shopping um, by herself online, and so we wanted to bring all the women to the Curvy Con to New York to celebrate fashion, to celebrate body positivity, and to also like help us forward the mission of inclusive inclusive sizing as well. So we just left the Kleinfeld Knot show and it was absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is like a powerhouse in the bridal industry. So how do you choose the different brands and designers that you work with? I think that right now there is a big push for brands to be inclusive. For a very long time, plus size women were not included in the fashion conversation holistically. So any time that a brand raises their hand and says, we want to serve plus size women, can we collaborate with the Curvy Con? Can we show up at the Curvy Con? The answer from us is always yes. We want our girls to have as much as they want. We want them to have variety. We want them to have choices. Um, Chastity shared her story about being a plus size bride and what that was like to shop. Yeah. And it's our desire that, that that experience doesn't happen for anybody else moving forward. Mm -hmm. And I think the industry as a whole is definitely taking a big move towards inclusivity of everyone, ages, sizes. I mean, how does that make you feel? That's probably like a huge accomplishment that you're a part of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Short answer, yes. Um, in a lot of ways, it's a dream come true. I think it's a magical time to be alive. With the invention of social media, it's a lot easier to get things done. And it's a lot easier to build communities that are bigger than yourself. Chas and I are two people with a vision, but this community is who shows up, who sells out this convention every year, who shops and purchases clothes at multiple price points, high and low. So we are proving time and time again that the 70 percent of women that are above a size 14 are ready to shop, are ready to express themselves through style, and the Curvy Con is the place to come and like make that really happen. That's amazing. So our tagline at Bella is beauty defined by you. So how would you define beauty? I would define beauty as confidence. I feel like I have met so many people who might be beautiful on the outside, but sometimes what comes out of their mouth isn't so beautiful and I find that the more confident someone is the more positive they are about other people and themselves so the more confident you are the more beautiful you are that's how it works in my book I feel like I define beauty as like just the good the good and positivity you put out into the world in general um, to be able to like do the work that we do and so many of our influencer friends and a lot of the fashion brands just to be able to change the world and make sure that for the next girl coming up that she's able to be confident and not and have options in fashion and just being able to put out that good. Of course. Well, we're sticking around for the rest of the shows. We're very excited. Thank you so much for having us and for being here with Bella TV. Thank you. Here with Bella TV, and I am with Ronnie Rothstein, the owner of Kleinfeld. We just got out of the show, and it was absolutely beautiful. Tell us how you feel about the show today. Well, we we love. I'm I'm a large, I'm a plus size guy. <laughs> I'm going to be 77 years old, and when I was young, my father had to take me to special stores to fit my chubby body, and and my life has always been making sure that men and women feel comfortable no matter what size they are. So we've been, we've been so focused on, on, on our, our, our curvy bride and, and my, Ma and I have been in this since the early 90s to make sure that we were satisfying everybody. So this was special today. And what was great was the response of the audience and how every single person seemed to be taking pictures. They loved it. It was huge. There's a big move towards inclusivity now in the fashion industry and that's fantastic. And you could tell being in the room that everyone there was so excited to feel included in a fashion show for once. Well, what's also great 
is it makes my staff feel comfortable because many of my staff are the same sizes as, as our as our larger models today. So they feel wonderful when they see a show like this. They feel that they're included also. So for us, it's it's it, it, it's a family affair to make everybody feel comfortable. And being the, the bridal institution that you are, I'm sure it feels much better to be able to include everyone and not have to turn a bride away because you do carry every size. We, we carry sizes that go up to in the 30s. And, and we do that same in our bridesmaids. We go up to, I think, 28. Uh, and, and, and the most appreciative customers that we have are the women. The size 10s can get their dresses any place. But somebody who's a 16, an 18, a 24, 30, uh, the most appreciative customers in the world, and we love them. And they love us. Well, the collection was beautiful. Congratulations. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I'm here with the absolutely stunning Hunter McGrady. Your words in there, I mean, people were seriously reacting to the things you had to say, and I feel like you touched so many people in that room. What does it feel like to be here and be able to share your experiences with everyone? This is such an amazing feeling. I mean, being around people who just absolutely understand the struggle of being a plus size woman and all really lifting each other up and being supportive, it's just, I've never felt such a electric just moving through my body. Like, even the runway show, seeing women who looked like me coming down the runway was just so amazing emotional and so incredible. My sister was like, I was in tears like the entire time. I yeah. A lot of people were in tears the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> and being obviously in the fashion industry, I mean, you can see the move towards inclusivity in the industry. How does it make you feel? It's amazing. I mean, it's amazing to be a part of. I think that of course, there's still so much that has to happen. I think that, but we are in the upward trajectory right now. And it's always incredible to be a part of history in this way. And I think that there's so many amazing women who are just pushing and pushing and pushing for this movement to continue moving forward. And uh, we're not gonna stop. We're not stopping here. Fantastic. Well, you look absolutely stunning. So and the show is amazing. Thank you for this interview. Thank you, so Thank you for being here. Thank you. <laughs>